Well, we realized that over the past seven years that we've been operating the Amazon, these are once in a lifetime trips. So what better way to build on that than to offer a different destination and on an opposite side of the world and tag it off of a world heritage site like Angkor Wat. Well, a lot of our clients are not your typical cruising clientele. These are people that have gone to Africa, that have done tiger camps in India, that have done Galapagos, Antarctica. They're doing soft adventures. So we wanted people to get on board and feel like they're embarking on a boutique floating hotel more than a river cruiser. This is kind of an oasis for them to disconnect a little bit, see that part of the world, but at their own pace with you know very well sort of curated excursions but based on their on their timeline and their interest levels. Everything's been sourced and designed specifically to our specs. We worked with a design team based in Saigon that have helped us design a boat I think is uh, sort of a market maker really in what's river cruising. We've mixed local sense of place with world-class accommodation standards built cabins that are 320 square feet, which for a river cruiser is also massively uh, oversized, but really being able to cater to a client that's uh, comparing us to any world-class hotel anywhere in the world. So every single part of this vessel has been built with a sense of purpose to create an environment for you to see this part of the world. We've got two Vietnamese, two Cambodian guides on board, and both of them are our storytellers. They're the ones that are going to be showing our guests a way of the life of a Cambodian or a Vietnamese through their eyes. We're the only boat on the river with private tenders, and that gives us a huge flexibility of building something quite authentic, yet in small groups. Our groups won't go above eight guests. Can you have the option of getting on a bike, we have 12 bikes on board, and you go through the backwater canals of Cambodia or Vietnam, and you see life, a, daily, a typical daily life of rural Cambodia or rural Vietnam. The bustling metropolises that are the towns along the river on the Vietnamese side or the rural countryside of Cambodia uh, through cattle fields, through rice paddies, to um, riverside beaches uh, that we set up sundowners on. It gives you an opportunity to see the best of the region at your own pace and through our guides that are really your storytellers on board with you. And this is an amazing opportunity to get on board, use it to move from one place to the other, in other words, Saigon to Siem Reap or Siem Reap to Phnom Penh, see a way of life on either the Vietnamese or the Cambodian side, but doing it on a, on a relaxed environment at your own pace with world-class guides, a world-class accommodation, but getting a sense of place while you're moving. And this is a perfect way to do it.